So feel free to uh, follow along on your TV screens with your APL Max accounts. Should be interesting. So we're doing episode one right now. Right away, I just think this this uh, Superman is kind of goofy. <laughs> dude, dude, this is a vision or something, apparently. See, and I'm not used to modern Superman comics, I guess, so. I'm kind of curious if this Superman is going to have, even have a fortune of solitude, because I haven't seen that in a while. No. Superman animation and whatnot. It's not the animated series back in the nineties. I wasn't only really crazy about the uh, fact this is an anime, but I kind of like the art style. And I think what was it's kind of annoying. And then me personally, I just never understood the um, the attraction between. Lois and Clark, I just, I don't get it. So it seems like the exact opposite of the type of brawling I've ever fought for. Maybe because I just prefer, I always prefer Clark with Wonder Woman in the comics. It was brief, but I you know, stuff that worked better together because you don't always have to save her eyes all the time. I made it to the second episode. You just see that Clark just has like, no means of standing up to Lois. She's basically kind of be running this freaking life, which is hilarious. Oh, jeez. I didn't pick that up before. <laughs>
And this guy here is apparently Hoover. See, I didn't pick up on that. I suspect that he might be. That doesn't look anything like classic Lex Luthor. No red hair. He's not bald. He's got glasses for crying out loud. I'm like, is this really their verse on Lex Luthor? <laughs> this is such a strange tree of decision, I think, on that. Yeah, here's that even red. Just make him a redhead. Because, like, I don't get Lex Luthor vibes from this guy at all. <laughs> but I assume this is some random dude. Maybe a new new villain or something for this series. But this is their Lex Luthor, apparently. I get some mass through the lives from that. Like when he went to the ship and he saw the hallucination of his father from Krypton. But the way it's done is just very strange. It's like he's flying and all of a sudden he's in some type of ship. Yeah. <laughs> 
when they showed Zod at the end of season one. He ain't showing up for a while, I guarantee you that. And Sasha was going to kick the living shit out of <laughs> This is what Superman is just going to. Uh, every time there's an animation, we we'll always write Superman to be this little wuss. And he's always got to hold back. I love crap. I have him go up against the wuss, I have to hold back. It's a problem solved. Because <laughs> every time you get just as late, just like cartoons, Superman and Batman have the same type of weapon or a criminal. Batman is the one that recovers first, or Superman being knocked out for like 10 minutes. Or even in the uh, Batman and Superman movie from the 90s. Or it's surprisingly better than the live action version that failed. Batman saves you for Superman just multiple times. Batman saves Superman just multiple times. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then Superman had to go and give him a signal watch and let go of here and leave me. That was like. I think in episode two of this, with the uh, Superman fight the atomic skull, though they don't call him the atomic skull for some reason, I don't understand. People do that type of stuff in the shows. They just call him what he is, the atomic skull. This is a flashback, but well, it's clear that Kara is usually younger than him. Well, she's actually older than him in the comics, but she gets trapped in this man animation or whatever version it is. So when she gets there, he's older than her. But other than this flashback, we don't see her yet. I'm guessing she'll be introduced in later episodes because I have to wait and see. Work, 
as many toys as they wish. We can fight. I know Amanda Wall is crazy. I'm like, especially in the second episode when they officially uh, announced Lex Luthor. Yeah, I just get the sense he's going to be subservient to her. And that is an issue for me because in this era we're in with this vagina utopia <laughs> where dudes are bad and chicks are good. I just where I'm concerned that Luther is going to be, like you said, an assistant to Amanda Waller and he should be the smartest person in the room wherever he is. That's Lex Luther. Amanda Waller would never be smart enough with her. It's, it's not possible. <laughs> He's always the smartest person in the room, whatever it is. So I hope they stay true to that, but this show is already very different from what I'm used to. So. We wouldn't have to be an Android. Don't worry, General. We'll finish the job. It's not enough. We're not ready for full experimentation. Not with the level of tech we have. I know it's not as well as I know. We just need to see it there. When we're back at HQ, I'll get them to tell us everything. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> exactly my point. It's fragile you made me. Yeah, I was chasing you. So I don't know how to do it. If I had done this to your mother, I would have to perform some sort of very grand romantic gesture. You too, God. This is you belong I just want to take this moment to uh, show people the right color scheme of his suit. That's his. That's his suit, not this dark ass, gloomy looking thing from a James Gunn picture that was released a couple of weeks ago. Bright red, blue, yellow. Hopeful, not depressing. <laughs> Every time his animation is, he get his ass kicked. <laughs> By being that should not be able to finger to him. Every time. This is my Chevy. And you're trespassing. And you're a 
There's so much more I, I want to ask. It's really good about to cry. My girl pair, will you? <laughs> you said my husband there. No, Daddy, don't leave me. <laughs> my God. Including the guy that tried to kill me. Uh, it can wait. This is more important. You're more important. Boy Scout. I think that was odd. The last shot. Where's the cover water? So that's the end of episode one. Of season two. We had a two episode premiere. I was looking for it last night and just couldn't find it. Either they didn't drop it or just. It's almost like they had a, a separate catalog to season one. 